Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Anthony. Anthony. So, Anthony, you know that you're an Israelite as well. Have you been uh, watching us online or whatever? How do, how do you know that you are an Israelite? Um, how can you tell? How can you tell, uh, like, the sister walking up, if she didn't know that she was Israel, how would she know that she's an Israelite? Because uh, knowing your history, knowing because we wasn't taught our true history. So right, my right. Mother, my, my brother taught me this through him researching, meditating, stuff like that. Uh -huh. uh, I didn't know this was actually a real thing until I was taught, because I didn't know, because... My family come from Barbados, so uh -huh. I'm guessing they're the West Indians. That's West right. Indians, That's right. Yep. Yep. Um, so you you said I you was Judah, but you may be Benjamin. I'm both. My, my, my mom, and dad, and my mom is from America. So All right. My dad and they, everybody West Africa got shipped to. So Florida. where who where does the lineage go after? Who does the lineage go after? Your dad. Your dad. Where where can we find that at? You know, we're gonna get it for you. All right, Numbers 1 and verse 18. Listen up, listen up. All right, what was the name was again? Anthony. Anthony. Anthony and Grace. Anthony and Grace. Read that. This is the book of Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And Moses and Aaron, excuse me, and they assembled all the congregations together the first day on the second month. And they, de and they declared their pedigrees. So they declared their pedigree. What is a pedigree? You know? A pedigree, like uh, when you think about dogs, right? They say the pedigree is the bloodline. All right, so the bloodline, they declared the pedigree or the bloodline, how? After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. The house of the fathers, that's right. All praises, you're a mighty tribe of Benjamin, man. That's right. All praises, all praises. So you got to go by the father, all right? And that's why we're here to bring the sense to the people. All right, we're here to bring the sense to the people. That's right. Um, and now, Anthony, I saw you were riding along with a young young lady. All right, what's her nationality? Native. Uh huh. Black, white. And what's her father? Because see, we're gonna we're gonna deal with her father. What's her father? Do you know? All right. See. Okay. All right. So you got to find these things out. All right. You must find these things out. You got to go off of the father's bloodline. You got to go off the father's blood. You got to go. Um, did we got your phone number? Yes. Uh, we got a business yeah, card for her as well. You got one of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All praises. Well, get in touch with us, Grace. All right. Get in touch with us because what we're bringing, we're bringing our people the truth about the Bible. All right. You got to start applying God's commandments so you can be uh, a godly woman. All right. Because if Christ were to come back right now, he would destroy you because you're not keeping his commandments. All right. You got, you must apply. It's one thing to know God. It's one thing to know his commandments, but it's a whole different thing once we start applying and then we'll see the changes in our lives. All right. So get in touch with us. All right. And we'll be in touch with you as well. All right. Uh, my sister, you just came up. What's your name? I did not want to be. You don't want to be on camera? That's okay. We won't put you on camera. What's your name? Yeah. Angie. Angie. How you doing, Angie? So uh, what made you stop, Angie? Give me Deuteronomy 73. What made you stop? What made me stop because of the community. Okay. All right. The community over here. Uh huh. I think that y'all doing the right thing by stopping justice as far as justice. Right, right. Things need to be peaceful in neighborhoods. Absolutely. I, and I believe that what you're doing is absolutely great. And we're, we're bringing the truth out of the Bible. And, and what you're right. doing is very, very so hard for people to believe because a lot of people won't believe what you're saying, but a lot of people are not going to believe it. You right. came to this point in this area for a reason. You're absolutely right. And I live over here, and I live over here. I live right over here. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Angie. 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 Angie.
Is it the is it the best thing? Can you leave your your doors open, unlocked, without having any words? Leave them open. You can leave them open. All right, we won't tell everybody where you live at. All right. <laughs> but typically around this neighborhood, when we pulled up, we saw fighting going on. We saw groups of young men. All right. You think they were reading, telling about the Bible? No, no, they were not. Okay. That's why we came to this neighborhood. We came to to seek our people. That's all right. right. And right. what we were talking with Anthony about is, you know, he has a he's he has a young lady. All right. And what we need to understand is that God loves the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans only. All right. And so it's important that you find out those that information because of this law right here in the Book of Deuteronomy. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Neither shall I make marriages with them. Thy daughter shall not give unto his son, nor his daughter shall thou take unto thy son. So Moses is telling the children of Israel, don't give your daughters to other nations' sons. And don't take their sons to your daughters. All right? That, yeah, we feel it, but hey, the word is coming out. So we're we going to keep preaching until we can. Until we can't do it anymore. So it's important that other nations, if, if they are not a part of the 12 tribes of Israel, Anthony, you cannot be with them. So you got to do a diligent search. You got to search out her father to find out, hey, is your father a so-called black man? Is he African-American? Is he from any one of these tribes? Take a picture of it. All right. And we also have it on the back of your flyer as well. If her father is not from that tribe, then... You have to separate from it. Yes. All right. What you got, Angie? What's our denomination? We we go off of this Bible. There's there's no such thing. God and there was. If you read the Bible, he never talked about Baptists. He never talked about Pentecostal. Right. Right. Yeah. And and we're we're just explaining, elaborating on. That's something you should ask people. What's basically going on? No denomination. No we're, we're going off of the, the word of God. All right. Uh, give me uh, Matthew um, chapter 19 and verse 17. So are we living in a time where we don't need religion? Will we need religion? That's a good question, Angie. That's a good question. Let me I'm gonna read the scripture, then I'm going to get a, a, your answer. All right. Get that. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 19 and verse 17. And he said, to, he said unto them, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. Excuse me. But if that will enter into life. So if you will enter into life, right? That's what life is talking about, the kingdom of heaven. All right. So if you will enter in, listen what Christ tells he does he, the question is does he say be a become a baptist become a pentecostal become a lutheran become a catholic let's see what god tells what christ tells this man asking how do i get the kingdom read but if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. He says what? Keep the commandments. He says keep the commandments. He doesn't tell us to become any other denomination. That word denomination was not written in his Bible. All right? We must keep the commandments of God and live. Okay, so what Bible is this? This is the King James Bible. King James Version Bible. Yeah, there, there are other versions that came after the King James, all right? And if you look in, let's say you have uh, the new King James. Let me ask you, it, and take a look, write this down. Write it, you got a pen? Try to remember it. All right, look for the, the scripture of Matthew 18 and verse 11. Let's get that. Read Matthew 18 and 11. If you go to your, King, your new King James, your English Standard, your um, NIV, that scripture will not be in there. That's right. They are hiding it from you. Let's see what it says. This is the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 11. Look it up. For the son of man came to save that which was lost. For the son of man has come to save that which was lost. He, so the son of man, talking about Christ, came to save that which was lost. Now, why is that important? You got what I want? Yes, Matthew 15? Yes, sir. All right, read that. The book of Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Uh -huh. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. You heard that, sis Angie? Yes, I did. He is not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The house of Israel. So when you read Matthew 18 and verse 11, read that again. 
the book of Matthew chapter 18 and verse 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. He came to save that which was lost. Matthew 15, 24 told you what was lost. The lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's who was lost. What's your What's your comment, sis? What's your comment, sis? And you got you got queen on your neck. Is that what it says? All right. So a queen should be walking like a queen, dressing like a queen. All right. A queen. Are you Are you married? I'm gonna ask you a question. Are you married? When you look up the definition for queen, it is someone who is married to a king. That's right. That's the definition. So these things are when the our, our society says, black woman, you are a queen. How are you a queen when you're not married? All right, that's, that's what society says. What Israel united in Christ, what God teaches us is that the black woman must be married to her Israelite man. An Israelite man is anyone from, who, who calls themselves a so-called black man, Hispanic man, or Native American man, all right? That's the, that's the true gospel of the Bible. That's the truth of the Bible. That's what you will not get in your churches. Though Those Baptist churches, those Pentecostal churches, those Catholic churches, they will not tell you that. Give me, uh, give me the truth. Give me the truth real quick. Because what we're spitting, I have not told you anything that I have not read a scripture for. Have I? Would you agree? All right. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I didn't catch your name in the back here. But uh, as you listen, as you read, I'm sorry, what's your name, sir? Walter. Sir Walter, you, uh, you see we're reading everything from the Bible. All right. So we are teaching the truth. Let's see what the truth is. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness in thy law. Thy, thy what? In thy law. Thy law is the truth. Thy laws are the truth. That's All right. The laws of God are the truth. That's right. The, the Christian churches are not teaching our men that we should not shave our face, that we should not bald our head. All right. These are the laws of God. Yeah, I'm talking to my brother Walter right here. All right. Absolutely. That's in the Bible. Get that. Let's let's get that. We're going to get it. We're going to. Hey, if I said it, if I said it, I'm going to get it out of the Bible. I'm going to let God be true and every man a liar. All right. Read that. The book of Leviticus. Chapter 21 and verse 5. Thou shalt not make baldness upon thy head, neither shall thou shave off the corner of thy beard. So the Bible says you shall not make baldness. Make baldness. So you should not purposely bald your head. But if a brother goes bald, that's called forehead bald. That's okay in the Bible. All right? Right. That, that's in the Bible. All right. Yeah, let's get that. Let's get that. Because we we read the Bible and we understand the Bible. You see how our people contend with God's word. They're not saying, dang, I didn't know that was in there. They want to make fun. They want to make fun of the prophets. Read that. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 13 and verse 40. And the man whose hair is falling off his head. So the man whose hair is falling off his head, meaning he is gone bald naturally. Not shaving his head, read. He is bold, yet he is clean. Yet he is clean. He is clean. All right. So that's what we're teaching our people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Sir, what's uh, I saw you uh, popped up. What's your name? All right. Should I go? Terry. How you doing, Terry? Grace, you had you had another question. You had yes. We we are preaching the word to the people. We're preaching the word to the people, right? And the highways and byways. That's right. All right. You're absolutely right. Only the most high can. You got our numbers? All right. Appreciate you, bro. Get in contact with us. All right. Is you have to understand when you are out here. Come on. So with that being said, okay. you have to realize that people are conscious of religion. Jeremiah or Sarat 17. Here's it. Go ahead, sis. I'm listening. I'm listening now. So, what? Uh, and then back that up with uh, all the other gods are nothing. What's that? Uh, Psalm 96. This is the 
the book of Sirach, chapter 17, and verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So God gave us the laws of life for inheritance, all right? So uh, Psalms 96 and verse 5, real quick, all right? Psalms 96 and verse 5. Back up behind the... Um, back up behind A little bit. Yeah. Just so this is what just you do, right? There. So just stay right but there. But let me say this. But right, read this. All of that? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 96 and verse 5. Come on. So this is how God feels about um, baptism uh, or Baptist, Pentecostal, uh, Catholic, uh, Muslim, Buddhist. This is how God feels about them. You can't save a community. Uh, all the gods of the nations are idols. All the other gods are idols. Right. All the other gods are idols, sis. Sis, what you don't understand is Christ was a black man. That's right. He spoke loud. He's not this so-called white, soft-speaking Edomite. He's got a business card. He's a white man. Christ was a black man. Why is that important? Because if you knew that Christ was a black man, you see our, your brothers up here uh, teaching that we are gods on this earth, that we are the true prophets, that the, the, the so-called depiction of Christ that they've given you is absolutely incorrect according to the scripture. What's your, what's your question? What's your comment? I just want to say this, sir. Come on. I just want to say this. Thank you for being here. I'll pray. And thank you for saving this neighborhood as much as you possibly can. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because We're my coming kids for our are people. also over here. And uh -huh. I pray for things like this. Yep. And, and I, I wanted to say this, and I just pray. Uh -huh. And I'm going to keep on praying. And I thank you for standing on this corner because this Absolutely. is bold. This is the very boldest thing that any man can do possibly. We're commanded no to do it. And no man can do nothing like We're this. commanded to do it. So, sis, let me ask you these questions. There's many of churches in Brooklyn Park. You ride down uh, Brooklyn Boulevard. You know I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm, I'm, I'm making a statement. Yes, and, is he and teach, so, did he teach you that you are yes, a told woman? Me. Don't tell me that. As a yes, woman, that you're not supposed to wear pants or leggings. So did he teach wrote? you that? Oh. Did he teach you that out of the Bible? Do you think Bring I'm making that up? Let's first get that real quick. See, that's why I said Let's, religion. Uh, first Timothy. You don't first Timothy. To tell we gonna get. We gonna get the new Testament. Not Testament. supposed to wear nothing. God tells you to tell us, tell the people that. Bring right? it up. But we are a stiff-necked, rebellious people. We won't. We don't want to be told nothing. Yes, we're rebellious. Because I'm wearing tights. Absolutely. Wow. Absolutely. So well, we can get you a scripture on that as well. Read. Listen to this, sis. Listen up. Read. The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Come on. In like manner also uh -huh. that the woman. That the woman. Read. Adorn, her, adorn themselves. Meaning adorn like put on themselves. What? In modest apparel. Modest so let's apparel. Read it again. So with, with modest like, apparel. With happens, modest apparel. Stop. Sis, so I can see your cleavage. I don't care. If, if you turn around, so, I can see all your goods. Well, that's supposed to be your husband. Right. If I have pants no, on, what do you have on? Men are to wear pants. Right. Women are to so wear dresses. Give me Deuteronomy 20. Tell me That's why. a good question. We're going to tell you why straight out get of the Bible. We're going to get it right for you. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Let's go. The Damn book of here. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Bring it Joshua out. 6. Joshua 6. The woman, the woman shall not wear, shall, shall not, not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. That which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Put on a woman's garment. For all that do so, for all that do so, are an abomination. Are an abomination. Are you serious right now? Did we read it out of the Bible or did we make a thing up? I don't know what Bible that is. Well, did we, you because need to check your Bible. Bible. Your dad is a bishop. He should have read that to you. No, that's right. All right, straight out of the Bible. Well, we showed him where that. He, he should have read that to you. He should have showed you that a woman his, wearing pants is an abomination to right. God. That's God. Told you. God. Told God. All right, sis. Told you never to come now, to let's get like First Corinthians 11 and 34. Wow. Yes, sir. First Corinthians 11 and 34. Actually, start at verse 33. Okay. Because when the word of God is coming up, sir, have we not read the word of God? It's, it is what it is. Even our women, when we were in, when our women were in slavery, they were out in the field. Were they wearing pants? No, they were wearing dresses. Dresses. All right. They were wearing dresses. Take a look. Our sisters were wearing dresses. All right. 
Read. First, first, first Corinthians 11 and 33. You can 11, keep on 33. reading your scriptures. Or 14, 33. 14, 33. I'm sorry. You need to first, read your scriptures. Hey, we're reading the scriptures right now, sis. So you're the one who's talking and not yes, listening. Read. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 34. Read it up. Let 30, your woman. 30, 33. 33. For God is not the author of confusion. God is not the author of confusion. That's right. Read. But of peace. Of peace. Read. As in all the churches of the saints. Come on. Let your woman. Let the women. What? Keep silent in the churches. Let the women keep silent in the churches. The problem is the black woman does not want to keep silent That's in the churches. Right. She want to wear her pants and tell everybody that it's okay. Except it be for the word of God. We would all be in this condition. That's all right. right. We would be all unknowing of God's law. Right. What are we reading? The Bible. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling, these are how our men repented at heart, the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.